bird's eye view of the off-grid homestead here in North Carolina. We've got our second drop inlet on its way to be installed. Right there in that hole. Got 120 feet of pipe running to the second drop inlet. And then we'll take more of that pipe and run it down this way to another drop inlet before it goes down the hill to a level spreader and disperses down the property. We have two other of these storm, si storm sewer systems, one towards the middle on the other side of that tree and then one further east over by those concrete blocks you see in the distance. This stormwater management is a very big deal with all the rain we get here. You see that red clay? That's a good clay right there. That's what we like to build on. We're having to dig down and then build the soil back up. And we're going to use clay like this and do it in two to four inch lifts. Pack it really, really well. And then we'll have a proctor test run on it to make sure we get good compaction minimum 98 percent. It's good to see this stuff going in the ground. Next step is to build this retaining wall that runs along here. It's about 130 feet long. There's another retaining wall that goes up on that little step there and that's for the uh, wood-fired kitchen. This is a uh, logging trail that's been uh, reclaimed and we're going to lower it closer to the closer to the wood fire kitchen closer to that wall if you can see the stakes all the yellow stakes there that's two buildings part of the community house and then there's a third building with red stakes further down that's where the little step down is further on that down there where the uh, bulldozer is over by the blocks that's where the barn is going to be and right there by the construction trailer, that's the main driveway. And then down beyond that is going to be our food forest. Over here, future food forest. Back on that food forest is where there's going to be a duck pond. And down below that is going to be our septic drain field. 